So now that you know the notation that we're going to be using for solving the 4x4x4 Rubik's Cube, and you have a very basic general understanding of how we're going to try to tackle this thing, let's get down to it! That's nice and scrambled and scary as hell. Now, as I said before, the first step in solving the 4x4x4 Rubik's Cube is going to be to solve these centers. But more specifically than that, we're going to be solving two of these 2x2 two two opposite centers. Now, how do you know if centers are opposite? Well, on a standard Rubik's brand cube, green and blue are always opposite. So that's what I always start with. But if your Rubik's Cube is not a standard Rubik's Cube, you can look at these corner pieces. And the corner pieces, the way that the colors are related on there, is the way that the colors are related on the actual cube itself. So starting at the top and going clockwise, you know green, orange, white. So green, orange, white. And from there, if with a little bit of brain crunching, you can figure out exactly where each center is supposed to go. When solving the green center, the first thing you're going to want to do is to locate two green center pieces. Here's one, and here's another. Now this is very easy. You can just line them up like that. However, if the cube was set up like this, it's important to note that you can rotate these outermost wedges without interfering with any of the other centers. So while this wouldn't line up, instead you get like that, you can just look at this and say, okay, this needs to go here, and I can do that. This is entirely intuitive, so there's not a whole lot of algorithms I can use to help you out here, but hopefully with a little bit of common sense you can figure these out. When you get two of them lined up, you're then going to want to look for the other two green center pieces. In this case, they're here and here. Now what you're going to want to do is, like this, you have to line these two up, but now you have to also be careful not to mess this up. This isn't too hard, but you may have to think about this just a little bit. Right now, if we were to simply, first of all, twist that there so that'll line up, but if we were to simply do that, then we just mess this up. Okay. So what we have to do is, before we bring this around here, we have to turn this one sideways so it won't get messed up. And there we have this lined up, and this lined up. Now it's very easy for us to just twist this one now, and then to line up the green center. Once you have the green center lined up, put that center in the down face, and then look for the four blue center pieces. One, two, three, four. With this in the down face, your goal at this point should be to get all four of the blue center pieces into these middle two layers. So this is the one we're going to have to move. A lot of times they're already going to be there, but in this case, it's a really simple thing to fix. We're going to have to twist the cube so that this is now in the front, and this is your first algorithm. R star, 2u, r prime star. Very short but that ensures that you do not mess up any centers that you already have solved and now all the blues are in the center layer. You can also use the opposite version of the algorithm once if you have a blue piece that is instead of in the right two in the left two and the opposite algorithm you're gonna have to make sure that you move the top to the front and then it is L prime star to U L star and once again you'll have all four blues in the center two layers. With the green center in the down face and all four, one, two, three, four of the blue center pieces in this middle column, you're going to want to reposition the cube so that the middle column is now a vertical column and that the green center is either on the right or the left. Once you have the cube repositioned like this, you're going to want to, and once again this is very intuitive, not a whole lot of algorithms to help you out here, but you're going to want to line up a two by one section of blue pieces. Uh, you can do this by rotating, just like you did for the green side, uh, any of the outermost faces any way necessary because it will no way mess this up. You can rotate this as much as you want and this green side won't be messed up. So I have located two blue pieces, one, two, one, two, and I have positioned them so that I can just go like that. 
and have this lined up. Once I have this lined up, I'm then going to make it vertical so that I can twist this as much as I want and not interfere with anything else. Now I'm going to locate the other two blue center pieces. Here's one, and here's two on the opposite side of the cube. I can actually just do that, line that up. It won't have messed that up. And then I can make it vertical too. Once you have these two two by one little blue center piece wedges inside of the middle layer, you're going to want to reposition the cube again so that the already solved green center piece is on the bottom. And then you're going to want to rotate these vertically like this. You can now use the algorithms that I already taught you to put these into the top layer. You can use L prime star, 2U, L star, or, and whenever you do the second one, you have to make sure that the wedge in the middle layer is going to take the place of the wedge that's already in the top layer. Or you can use R star, 2U, R prime star. And you should have two solved opposite centers. Once you have solved the green and blue opposite centers, you're going to want to reposition the cube so that the green and blue sides are now in the right and left faces. And you're going to want to look through this center wedge, kind of like the center wedge that we had uh, previously, for little sections that you can solve of little one by two center sections. So I see here's an orange, and here's an orange. I can line this orange up like that so that when I can move that and have a 1 by 2 section. Then whenever I get a 1 by 2 section, I'm going to want to make it vertical so that it won't get messed up when solving other 1 by 2 sections. Here's a yellow, there's a yellow. Line those up, make them vertical. And I'm just going to keep doing that until every single center looks like this with made up of two 1 by 2 sections. You may have to finagle with this for just a little bit, but I have faith in you, you'll get it. When you have finished that, you should have a cube that looks like this. A finished center on one side, a finished center on the opposite side, and then everything in between made up of these one by two squares, rectangles, whatever they are. See that? Very nice. At this point, you can once again reposition your cube so that blue or green is on top. And now you must solve one of these middle centers. We'll solve the yellow one. It doesn't matter which one you do. Once you have solved this, some of the other centers, like this one, may solve themselves, but they may or may not be in the right place. What you have to do now is f look at any corner piece that has blue and yellow in it, like this one. We're going to look at this with blue on top, and we see that it goes blue, yellow, red blue, yellow. This must be the red center. Now how are we going to get the other 2x1 red center wedge here without messing up the already solved yellow side? Well there's an algorithm that you already know that can help you out with this. First we have to locate the other 2x1 red center right here. Make this so that it is the front face and now we can move it towards it by using L star prime to U L star. We haven't messed up the yellow and we've gotten this really close. Now what we need to do is reposition this red center and then use the opposite algorithm to get this up here. R star to U R prime star. And you have this solved and this solved. At this point, we have one, two, three, four solved centers and two unsolved centers. We need to now look at any corner piece that has orange or white in it. It doesn't really matter. Let's look at this one. And we see that it goes white, red, green. So let's find red and green, red and green. So we know that this must be the white side. We solve this by using the algorithm that we've used many times now. L prime star, 2U, L star, and you have all of the centers solved and in the right place.